how to start a social media marketing agency. Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice, and today I'm gonna to share with you how, if you want to, you could go out there and create your own social media marketing agency. Now, I'll put a big asterisk at the start of this video that if you want to go and start a agency, make sure that you can actually deliver on, the, on what you promise people. Don't go out there and just make sales and then go, oh, randomly, now how do I get good at this? How do I actually deliver a, 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 an outcome for a client? Please don't do that, okay? Please, please, please do not do that. I want you to only do what you know you can do. And, there's, and you're gonna be like, but Kim, how do I do that before I get my first client? I'm gonna cover that in just a sec. Now, why would you wanna create a social media marketing agency? Well, there's a few reasons why. Number one, obviously, it is a very, 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 very large growing industry at the moment. Everyone wants to get into social media marketing. They wanna get out there and help other businesses grow because it's something that you can literally do, number one, from anywhere. And number two, the reason why a lot of people wanna do it these days is it because it can afford you freedom if you set it up properly set it up properly, but please don't think that this is going to be a set and forget, this is gonna be so easy, I'm never gonna to have to do anything type of business. You do need to stay at the forefront. You do need to keep educating yourself. You do need to ensure that you can help your clients and stay abreast of what's happening in the industry. Now, I'm gonna break down through for you the three different types of businesses that I see that would be the best choices within social media marketing. Now, you might go, Kim, why should I listen to you? Well, we run a million dollar agency called Your Social Voice. We've been doing it for five years. So we are not a fly-by-night approach business where we've just come up and we're gonna talk to you about running an agency and we don't have one. We've done it, we've been there, got the t-shirt, we know how it all works, right? So there's three different models that I would recommend for people to look at. And I'm not talking about a model in the sales model, I'm talking about three different niches, if you will, that your business could be uh, umbrellaed under. So number one is actually social media marketing. There's a very big difference between advertising and marketing. Social media marketing is a business that I would see that where you would take people and you would run their content for them. You would help grow their pro profiles organically. You would help them understand how to best grow across platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever you wanna choose, TikTok, right? There's many different social media platforms. You would focus on helping them grow organically, right? You would help them focus on posting on those platforms, creating the content for those platforms. That is number one. That's the number one option that you would have. Number two is advertising. Social media advertising, right? Where you might be advertising on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter. You're using the paid side of things, right? And each one of these is very different and it comes down to what you like and what you think you'd be able to best deliver at. On the, uh, on the advertising front, which is what we've done uh, very, very well over the last five years, is focus on delivering outcomes for people from lead generation. Okay, lead generation is where, and it's easier for the client to understand why they're giving you money. Because every week you deliver them leads or sales, right? And then there's two, I would say, two schools within that, underneath that one, which is e-commerce, and the other which is lead generation. E-commerce is where you're sending traffic to a site where you're expecting people to make a purchase. You're advertising to bring people there. The second is where you're generating leads, where someone wants to have a conversation, someone wants to speak to someone to qualify them first. They're the two different schools and options that you would have. Yes, you can if you have a lead generation type business, have something else on the back end where maybe they purchase something for low, low barrier to entry product, free plus shipping funnel, a webinar, whatever that might be. There's two options that you would have right there. So you could choose from either of those as well. So again, to reiterate, I'm just gonna st stack on top of these, right? Number one is that pure social media marketing agency. Number two is the social media advertising agency. And I would stick to doing one, either e-commerce or a lead generation type model, one of those two. Then number three, which is a new and really pushing market at the moment, is a funnel agency, where you're designing funnels, you're designing webinars, you're helping people. This is actually the new sexy name for a web development company, right? Is a funnel agency. It's like, no, you just do web design, right? That, but that's the new sexy way of articulating it. That's a new way for people to choose from, right? To, okay, well, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get a funnel. It's a website, right? So there's really three different options that you have there for you to choose. Each one is going to come with its own problems, concerns. Each one is gonna be slightly different, but the process is still the same. So if you're looking to start up a social media marketing agency, you need to first of all, choose which one of those three you're gonna be siloing yourself into because it's much easier for you to articulate what you do to someone if you've chosen one of those three areas rather than going, cool, I do everything. I do all these things, right? So step number one, 
is to pull that together. Step number one is to pull together exactly how you're going to, to uh, position yourself in the marketplace. So that's step number one. Step number two is you actually need to choose a niche, okay? A lot of people hear this and like, I know that, I've, I've done that before, been there, got the t-shirt, right? That's cool, that's fine, but choose a niche. Reason being is the only way to build a system, uh, systemized, sustainable, I was gonna say sustainable, right? merge the two words together, to build a sustainable business is to actually choose a niche because then it's gonna be easy for you to identify how to work with them, what sort of offers work, what products work, how to actually ensure that you're writing the right copy, how to ensure that you're providing the right content, how to ensure that you're making them sales and growing their business because that is the most important thing over anything else is that your clients get results, okay? Very, very important. You're not gonna last very long if your clients don't get results. So that is what I encourage you to think about is going, okay, cool. All right, now that I know I've chosen which of the three options I've, I'm going to be positioning myself in, number two, we need to choose exactly which niche we're going to work with. And if you're, obviously this is business to business, right? This is where we're working B to B. What we want to do if we're doing that process is we want to then go, okay, looking at these options, we've got the chosen of these two, who can I get the best result for? Who can I get the best result for? And I'm gonna choose an industry. So for example, accounting is an industry. Social media marketing is an industry. Dentistry is an industry. Chiropractic is an industry. You need to be very specific and choose which one. Now you might go, I haven't done it before. I have some experience running ads. I haven't done it before. I don't know which one to do it for. Go and do it for free. Use your time. Say, look, I'll, I'll do it for free. You just cover the ad spend. Right, or you, you just provide the content or you just provide the assets and I'll build you a funnel for free and see which industry grabs you the most. Because if you're gonna be working with them, you've got to work with people that you like. Right, the benefit of if you're a social media marketing agency is you can use social media to bring your clients in. You wanna work with people who you like. Okay, you don't wanna just be working with every Tom, Dick and Harry. You wanna be working with the people who are going to be best, absolute best for you to work with. Right, so that's what I want you to think about. Massage that into your brain into your brain space there. The second step is you need to choose that niche, right? The third and final step for you is that you actually need to go and get some experience. You need to get some results, right? And that's why I don't think, I don't really like the whole model of, oh, um, I'll, run your, I'll run your ads um, and you pay me on performance or anything like that to start off with. I see a lot of people promoting that and doing that and I think that's poor. The reason why I think it's poor is because just go do it for them for free. So I don't want you to give me any money, right? Spend some of your time because the only two ways to do anything is you gotta spend time or you gotta spend money. Spend some of your time, invest it, make sure you know how to do it, make sure you have mentorship and guidance around it. Go out there and actually get results for people. And go, look, I'm not gonna charge you anything. You pay the ad spend, I'm gonna do it. I've just gone through this process, I know how to do these things, but I wanna make sure I can get consistent results for people like you. So can I do this for you absolutely free of charge? Uh, I'm not gonna charge you anything. I don't wanna be paid on performance. I just need to know the results at the end. And if I do a good job, would you give me a testimonial? That's all you need to do. It's what I did, that's what a lot of my clients do. It's a lot of what uh, you know, we teach people how to do is like, go, go, if you don't have results, go get them for someone. And don't charge them anything, right? Once you know that you can get results, once you know that you can provide value to people, then of course charge. And, I'll, and we teach a lot of different, you can watch videos on our channel all around how to charge people, what to charge people, price points and things like that. Right? But I want you to first of all think about how can you in that final region there, in that final area of going, cool, if I'm going to go get some results, I'm gonna do it for free to start off with, do that. How can I go and get as many results as possible? Get some testimonials, then you can go to the marketplace with an offer, then you can go with a beta test offer, whatever it might be for you. Then you can go out there and scale things up, okay? That's what I wish for you. So to recap that again, number one is you need to choose of the three buckets which you fall under. Number two is that you need to have a niche. And number three is you need to go and get results for that niche. That is as simple as it is. If you wanna start your own social media marketing agency, that's how you do it, okay? And if you ever need any help with that, please make sure, just let us know. We can push you in the right direction. Now, if you like this video, give me a cheeky thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why though. You know, don't be an invisible hater. Be a, you know, just if you want to hate, that's cool. Just let me know why. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. If you like this video, if you want to see anything else from us, be happy to produce that for you. Just let us know. And as always, make sure that you subscribe and turn your notifications on so that we can help you and you get these videos first before anyone else. You don't forget and you see every time we drop new content just for you. All right, that's what we want to do. That's how we want to help you. Let us do that for you, okay? So make sure that you do all those things. And until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You have all been awesome. Adios.